All right, guys, uh, so this is what you're gonna need to do this. You're gonna need a drill of some sort. Uh, I've got a cordless drill. But you're gonna need a drill. You're gonna need some kind of a tape measure. Uh, it can be a real man's tape measure or a little rinky dink one like this. You're gonna need a square, some kind of a square. You're gonna need a drill bit. Uh, you don't need a whole set. You're gonna need a small bit and a large bit, either a large uh, bit like this, just a regular bit, preferably something bigger than this. Uh, it can be like this. This is called a unibit or a step bit or I think a variable bit. There's three or four different names for it. But uh, it starts out small and as you drill it gets bigger. Uh, or you can use something like this. Uh, I have a hole saw kit here. You can use a hole saw bit like this. Um, just anything to make a bigger hole. Preferably like a 5 8 size, something in the 5 8 range, half inch, 5 8 something like that. Because what you're going to do is, um, it's pretty easy to figure out what we're doing here. What you're going to do, and you got to have a stick, a climbing stick. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your little tape measure and you're going to come, you got, you don't want your bolt here where you step and your standoff attaches. You don't want to get right on top of it. You want to come off of it a little bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down and this is, you don't have to put it exactly the same measurements as I'm doing, uh, but uh, anyways, you're gonna come off that bolt there. I came down two inches, well, an inch and three quarters off that bolt, and I marked it at inch and three quarters. Then I came to this mark that I marked, and I've got three and a half inches there from that mark to the next bolt hole where you're. Um, where your button or whatever that attaches to your tree attaches it to your tree is, and uh, so I've got three and a half inches. So we want we got room for two holes here. So what I would do is just uh, to make it look uniform is uh, I would just put uh, the holes an inch and three quarter. Uh, one and three quarter inches apart. So I would pull off that an inch and three quarters and mark it right here. Okay. Then you're gonna come below your button here. And you got this distance here. So what you want is uh, to make it look good and uniform, you know, look uniform. You don't want, I mean, you could just drill holes wherever you wanted to. Uh, but we want to keep it looking nice, or I do anyways. Anytime I do something, I want it to look halfway decent. But what you're going to do is you're going to come off of this. You're going to see you got 10 inches from that bolt to, well, 10 and a half from that bolt to that bolt. You can figure out the distance here, divide it, and equally divide it up, however you want to do it. But what I did was I just came off of this hole off this bolt down um, an inch and a half and made my first mark at an inch and a half. Then from there, I just marked every inch and a half, inch and a half. Uh, so actually you'll start out, it'll be an inch and a half, then it'll be three inches, and then it'll be four and a half, then it'll be uh, six inches, then it'll be seven and a half, and that'll be your last hole on that side and then you're going to take your square 
and everywhere you made a mark, you're gonna square it off. Uh, you're gonna square that hole off. Right there's my first mark. We're gonna square it off. And while you got your square there, this tubing is an inch wide. So you wanna, you wanna get to the center of that, which <clears throat> half of an inch is a half inch. So you're gonna mark right on top of that line right at the half inch mark right there make you a little dot or arrow preferably an arrow because the arrow kind of tells you it points to where your hole is uh, anyways then you're going to do that on each one make your mark across and then mark it at a half inch this way all the way down every one of those marks then you're going to come over here on this side on, on the side and you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna stagger your holes. Cause here's, right here's your first hole. Um, right here's your first hole, would come down right there. If you lined them directly up, and we don't want that. We don't wanna line our holes on the side directly in line with the holes on top. So you can do this, you can bring your line down the side there, down the side there and then go exactly half inch or half the distance between that line and that line looks like it's an inch and three quarters so that's going to mean that we need to mark it at seven eighths of an inch right there which would put us directly in the middle of those okay then from there you're gonna come off of that mark remember these were an inch and three quarters apart you're gonna come off of that mark and hit an inch and three quarters and then you're gonna go from that mark this way and put it on an inch and three quarters and mark it there if you know how to read a tape measure and work a tape measure this would be pretty simple for you uh, I'm just trying to explain it the best I can um, so you made your mark there and there then you're going to come down here on this end and remember we made these an inch and a half apart so you can bring your line down here like so take your square uh, now remember this is not your mark you're not going to drill a hole on these marks right here uh, just you're just getting a reference point by bringing those down but what you want to do is we came off of that an inch and a half off that bolt you're going to come down here you're an inch and a half distance between here so that half the distance between that mark and that mark would be three quarters so if you put your tape on one there and then mark at three quarters of an inch right there then you can come off that mark and mark it every inch and a half there's an inch and a half and then three inches and then four and a half and then six and then seven and a half then you'll take same thing you did on the top you'll square your marks up there's your mark right there these are the ones you just marked. You don't want the one that you brought off the top. But you're just going to square your marks down the side, all the way down, on each one of your marks. There, there, there. Anyways, okay. Then you're going to do the same thing you did on the top at one half inch. This is an inch wide. At one half inch, you're going to make a mark right there same thing here at a half of an inch you're gonna make a mark right there and what that's gonna do is give you your where those two lines cross each other that's where you're gonna drill your hole same thing there you're gonna mark your inch and a half I mean your one, half inch it's going to be opposite perpendicular to the other line. OK, 
Okay, so you've done that. Now you've got your the point of where this line and this line meet is right here. So that's where your hole is going to go. So this comes this is when you're going to take your uh, your small bit Mosquitoes is awful out here, man. I'm telling you. You're going to take your small bit. You're going to come right where those lines meet. And you're going to drill your pilot hole. If you know, if you've ever drilled into steel or whatever, you know these little bits are easy to break if you get, you know, if you're not straight up and down. And when you're drilling in steel, you don't want to go fast. Just a steady pace you don't want to run that drill wide open you want to go fairly slow if you go too fast the friction between that steel and this steel will heat this bit up and it will dull it just instantly so you're going to do that and you can either scribe these marks mark the front and the back or you can make sure your bit's straight up and down this way and this way and go ahead and punch through go ahead and punch through the front and the back and you're going to lay it on its side and you're going to do the same over here uh, actually this one's going to be right here Anyway, you get the idea. And everywhere you got a mark, you're going to drill a pilot hole. Once you get all your pilot holes drilled, you're going to take that bit out. And that's when you're going to either get your hole saw or, uh, or the biggest regular bit you got or this what I have here is this step bit now I have this because I do commercial heating and air uh, I'm a service tech and I have to drill holes in the cabinets of units all the time for the electrical hookups and stuff these bits are not cheap if you get a good one they'll run you 30 to 80 hundred dollars depending on what size you get you can get some cheaper ones but they don't last as long but I have this, you know, you may not have it, whatever. And I'll tell you something else, man. If you guys, if you have a drill press, you're in business, dude. This is would be so much easier with a drill press. I don't have a drill press. But anyways, you drill your pilot hole, then you take your big bit, and you put it in your pilot hole. You might want to hold on to it when you're drilling. And then you drill that out to a bigger hole. And uh, let me tell you something here. When you're drilling this out, the reason this is a one inch wide tubing, uh, the reason I said five eighths is because you want to leave a close to a quarter of an inch between the edge of your hole and the edge of your tubing. Because if you drill it out all the way out to the edge, you lose pretty much 100% of your structural integrity. But if you'll leave a quarter of an inch, give or take a little bit, between your hole and the edge right there, then it retains uh, the majority of its integrity. And what's going to happen is <clears throat> your holes will be staggered. You have a hole here and here. Well, actually, it'll be here and here on the side, here and here. 
and then on the front and the back your hole will be halfway between them midways between them so you'll have a hole here then a hole here then a hole here and it's going to end up looking like this see there how your holes are not perpendicular from each other you hole here then here then here then here this probably looks familiar um, it looks a lot like um, one of the sticks that's on the market right now but that's uh, that's how that stick was made so light and was still strong enough to climb trees is because of that right there so this is just a you can do this at home uh, it don't take much I may have confused you man I was trying to explain it to where everybody could understand it but you get my drift but you think about it um, I just took a half a pound a little over a half a pound out of this stick right here the one that I finished and you say a half a pound that ain't much that's eight ounces well if you got three sticks guess what that's a pound and a half if you got four sticks uh, that's two pounds that you've taken off of this so it adds up guys I appreciate y'all hanging out with me and uh, letting me show you all this um, it may not mean much to a lot of you some of them some of you it may you know you may have never thought of it I don't know um, that's one of the things we get from what we do man I watch I learn stuff from people all the time we always learning stuff and like I said that's not you're not going to take a, a tremendous amount of weight off of it but if it's a half pound per stick three sticks is a pound and a half four sticks is two pounds the more material you remove from this the lighter it's going to get so anyways I hope that helps y'all out guys and uh, good luck and um, I really do I hope y'all have all the, the, the success in the world um, you know I love the outdoors and, and I love hunting and fishing uh, it's, it was bred into me I guess I mean I've been doing it since, since I could walk well enough to keep up with my grandpa and my uncle and my dad uh, I grew up deer hunting turkey hunting didn't kill a deer till I was 17 but I loved every minute of it. Every Saturday morning I was in the woods with my grandpa, my uncle, and my dad. I didn't hunt as much with my dad as I did with my grandpa and my uncle, but uh, they loved bird hunt. Mm. They quail hunted and uh, they liked turkey hunting better. I fell in love with deer hunting. Uh, I love the others. I love to quail hunt. I love turkey hunting. I love any kind of hunting. But whitetail is my passion I guess you'd say uh, that's what I fell in love with but um, anyways uh, I hope this helps y'all and uh, good luck and uh, thanks for tagging along I'd appreciate it if you'd please like and subscribe next week uh, we'll be going hunting not whitetails but we're gonna get to go on a pig hunt and um, a spot and stalk pig hunt and uh, back in the spring when I got to go do the spot and stalk pig hunt, same one I'm going on this time, I killed six pigs. Anyways, so next week we'll have a little bit of live action and it'll probably be a little bit more fun. And, uh, and uh, we'll see y'all next time.